All right, what we're going to get on is, is this stupid-ass bitch from um, the Bill Cunningham show. And y'all going to hear about four or five minutes of this stupid bitch talking this fat, nasty fucking slut, this stupid-ass whore, all right? You're going to hear her, you're going to hear her cousin, and you're going to hear the boyfriend, and you're going to hear Bill instigate. And you'll probably hear a little bit of me also, okay? So here Right. Okay. You know, okay, so you know when we went and picked him up mm -hmm. in Irving, the place where we picked him up from in Irving, you know it was one of his girlfriend's house, right? Mm. And then, what? Yeah. How do you know? Because you know we you, we ain't got a lot of whatever, but that's not the issue. Look, check this out. I don't want you to get mad. That is the issue. Because okay? you know I love you. Check this out. Me and Peyton been having sex with each other. But listen, check this out. Look, check this out. Not like. Why would you want to go behind me? I'm your cousin. It's not. It's not necessarily a go oh, behind. Wait, 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 wait. It's like you don't need to be with this dude, Jazz. I mean, you got so you, much you more going on for yourself, and Peyton ain't got nothing to offer for you right now. He don't. He just want. He just wants you for your money. He just wants you to buy and stuff. That's all he wants. And what you he wants you for? Yeah, good sex. There you go. I'm just right now. So but don't do that though. And you brought me all the way to New York to tell me. Because I didn't want things to blow up between us. I don't want to hear all that. I don't even want to hear all that. I just wanted to. I didn't want 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 to. I didn't want
did. I did. Power, glory, and honor to Yahweh Baal Shami Halashai. Double honor to the elders of GMS for showing me this great truth. And shalom and salutations to my brothers in the four corners pumping out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. I'm going to get on um, Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt bring the hire of a whore, or the price of a dog, into thou shalt not bring slackia. Deuteronomy 23:18. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy power for any vow, for even both the for even both these are abomination unto the Lord. All right. So we're gonna go to um, Deuteronomy 17 and. The word for uh, whore is kwarasha, which means whore, but we're going to go into a better one, um, which is zana. Zana, which means to commit fornication, to be a harlot, play the harlot, to be a harlot, to commit adultery, to be a cult prostitute, to be unfaithful to the Most High, to commit adultery, to force to prostitution, to commit fornication. Alright, that is zana. Alright. And the dog is Kalab, which is a dog literal or a contempt or a basement, a pagan sacrifice of male cult prostitutes. Alright. So you dog ass niggas, you guys are prostitutes. And you're an abomination unto the most high. Alright? So now we're going to go to the word um, um, for abomin uh, abomination, abominable. It is hold on. the wa i the the wa i bus. The wa i bus is abomination, a disgusting thing, abomination, abominable in ritual sense of unclean food, idols, mixed marriages, in ethical sense of wickedness, etc. All right. So all those that all the women that have more than one man, if you've been sleeping around with more than one man and you continuously do, you are abominable. If you did it in the past and you stop, hey, then that, that's a good thing, all right? If you're a man and you're dealing with a bunch of women but they don't know about each other, you are a fucking dog. If they know about each other and they agree and they're only with you, then you are a man for your how about show me how shy. It's that simple. Not to mention, if you're a man, you don't be no sodomite, not even for the women, all right? So no ass play, okay? You stick to one man if you're a woman, all right? Once your husband dies, then you are free to marry another man, okay? But if your husband is still alive, you must stick to that man, all right? Unless he gives you a bill of divorcement, okay? All power, glory, and honor to Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of GMS for showing me this great truth. And Shalom and salutations to my brothers in the four corners, puffing out this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. Shalom, Akiyam.